All right, let me get your attention for a little bit. I'm gonna go through this demo. It won't take us very long. So it tells you how quickly you can get this lab done if you wanna do it for your extra credit. So uh, first I'll talk a little bit about what a uh, DAC is. It's also referred to as a digital to analog converter. So for many of you, if you've done the A to C lab or analog to digital conversion, um, this is the opposite. So it allows us to actually set values in certain registers and then output a given voltage, right? So this diagram here shows you that we input some um, digital known values and we get an analog output. It's actually a very simple, uh, oops, press the up page to open the scroll, but it's actually a very simple uh, piece of hardware. It's using an R2R network resistor, um, kind of voltage divider circuit or uh, resistor ladder to then create this voltage output, okay? Uh, the equation follows fairly, uh, pretty closely to what we've done for the A to C. You guys know how to calculate that. It might be helpful. Just an idea. You know, throwing it out there, possibly. I mean, if I was going to create any type of midterm of math calculations for this class, it'd probably be A to C conversions. But, you know, I don't write the questions for the exam. So, all right. Um, there's also ways we can optimize this, things called DMAs. We haven't really talked about that. Um, and it's pretty extremely, extremely useful in audio applications in the sense of if you're going to do some DSP processing to audio and then output it, you can. Um, though keep in mind that this would be very low tier regarding audio, right? You know, 12 bit, bit depth, everything like that. So. All right, so how do we create this project? Well, first you have to create a new project. So I'm gonna go to new STM32. Oh, they look perfect. Literally just did this like earlier. And do it with the trackpad. There you go. So I'm using an F303 board. Um, if you're using an F7, the code I'm gonna use is a slight bit different, but it's pretty much identical. Uh, the difference between the F7 and F303, um, actually it's a good second to segue into the peripherals of the board, uh, is the F303 and the L4, the other board, uh, actually have um, two different DACs. So you can actually configure two different pins separately, completely op um, separate from each other, two pieces of hardware to actually output different voltages. The F767 does not have that capability, it actually only has one DAC in it, um, but what it has is a couple of different channels. So you can then configure your DAC, change the channel, it's like a mux basically, to determine how you're gonna output it. Um, so I'll kind of point out where that difference in code is gonna be, but it's very minor. All right, so I'm gonna create my project here based on my F303 board. There you go. I'm gonna select my board, select next. K8. I'm gonna select next and finish. And I'm going to have initialize all default, default peripherals because this is the F303 board and that's how I want to have it configured. So when you demo this lab, uh, you will need to just do a simple LED. If you have an analog discovery, you can look at the waveform itself, but an LED is perfectly fine too, so you don't need an analog discovery with this. It makes it a little bit easier to see what your waveform is. Uh, so for my case, I'm going to be using the DAC1 channel one located at pin or, uh, PA4, okay? So 
and that's located at the bottom of this board. If I just simply select it and select DAC one out one, it pretty much configures everything for me. And it's not very advanced and it's pretty straightforward in regards to what we can do. Um, output buffer enabled, there's no trigger, no external trigger, and I'm not configuring number two. So pretty much it. So now I'm gonna save it and generate my code. So uh, once I generate code for the DAC, there's pretty much um, two, uh, about two to three main important lines of code that we use to initialize it, right? So you'll see here in a second. So first, inside of my main function, inside this user code begin block, I need to initialize the DAC, right? As well as I need to start it. So this means after I've initialized the hardware and said, hey, this is what it is, these are the settings, there's not a lot to it, uh, I have to then start the hardware, basically start enabling it so it just can start receiving input and outputting voltage. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the handler we're passing is H, um, HDAC1. If you're using the F767, because there's only one board, very likely there is not gonna be a one, it's just gonna be HDAC. How can you verify this? Well, usually, again, our peripherals are located somewhere in the bottom. I hope. No. There, I passed it. There it is. So the MX DAC one init. This code kind of does exactly that. I mean, I'm just not calling it. Yeah, I'm leaving. It doesn't have a start, so you still have to start it. So, unless they do call it, maybe they do call it. Oh, they do call it. Okay. So this init code probably is unnecessary, but it's fine. I'll leave it there for now. All right. So after that, I'm going to copy the for loop. This first set of for loops. So the important thing here is that we have this uh, how DAC set value, right? We're going to pass again this parameter. The channel we're going to use, so if you're using a different channel, what I referred to earlier, you would set that, and then the alignment of the bytes that we're sending. So in this case, we're just going to use 12-bit resolution, and it's right aligned. All right. So from there, you can see I have two for loops within my while loop. One is incrementing at steps of four, some value I that then we're passing into the how DAC set value. And then we're gonna have a delay of one millisecond, okay? After that, we're gonna decrement in steps of four with a delay of one millisecond. Everybody following? All right, from there, I'll set up a debug configuration. Perspectives, and I'm going to hit resume. So first I'm gonna pull up, I have my analog discovery connected and I'll start my scan. And what you'll see is we basically made a triangle wave, right? Just steps of four, so a slope of four, it goes up, and increments, right? Now, what happens if I get rid of that for uh, the second for loop? What type of shape of waveform would I create? Any ideas? Well, it wouldn't be going down, right? So then, what kind of square wave or what kind of wave would it be? Any ideas? Any guesses? 
hopefully by the time I finish. No, no guesses. If I got rid of that second for loop, what kind of way would it be? And guys, never play Jeopardy. <laughs> be a squirt. It'd be a, a, a sawtooth, right? Think about it. Just all it does is go up. It goes up at upward slope, and then it resets back to zero. So it's a sawtooth wave. Yeah. Not super complex. All right. So. What should you see now? I have an analog discovery. I just showed you the waveform now, though. What should you see if you connect an LED? So let me go back to this code here. All right, let me switch my camera up here. I don't know if anybody can see that. Let me get my camera a little closer. What you see is the LED is dim, it slowly lights up, and goes dim again, right? Yeah. So that's ideally what you should see if you have a similar type of triangle wave. All right. That's pretty easy, right? It has been 12 minutes since I've demoed this. Now, mind you, I do have things set up a little bit ahead of time, but this is fairly easy to do for, say, a lab seven and get 8% of extra credit against the total lab grade. Right, excellent. So with that being said, that's what I wanted to demo for tonight for you guys, show you how to do it. Is there any questions on uh, the DAC and how it works, how it could be useful? The document is not posted because it's not complete. I'll give you uh, Uh, I'm probably going to give you, I'm going to see about recording this and then just, or it's recorded. But when I, I'm going to download the recording and snip it so it's only relevant parts and then upload it to, to Moodle for you guys. So, yeah.